Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the products that I use to wash and tone my silver gray hair and also my weekly trim and style. First I'm going to use my wet brush, gently brush it out. For products, the first thing I'm going to use is this K18 Molecular Repair Oil and you just push the top and it fills the dropper. Rub it together, pull this through my hair. This not only repairs the hair, but it also has a heat protector. I use other heat protectors also. I feel like with especially gray silver hair, you cannot have enough heat protectors in your hair especially because I like to style my hair. Next, I'm using Olaplex number six. I'm not using the K18 molecular mask because I have conditioner in my hair. So about, I would say once a month is when I don't use conditioner and I use the K18 mask. It's the same one that I use throughout my whole bleaching and toning process. I have a lot of hair. It's very thick, coarse, frizzy. So the amount of products that I'm using may look extreme, but if you have thick, coarse, frizzy hair like I do, you will understand how much product you have to put in your hair to get it saturated. Next, I'm using Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. This helps to dry my hair faster and smooth out any frizz because any type of humidity, rain, the weather will, my hair just frizzy goes crazy because of the texture that I've always had. And I've been using this Super Skinny Serum for years so instead of it taking an hour to blow dry my hair, it is much quicker. Okay, and the last step before blow dry is this L'Oreal Blow Dry It Quick Dry Primer Spray. This is a heat protector and another product that helps my hair dry faster because I don't wanna be here all day drying this hair. Okay, one more comb through and then going to dry it. So now what I do is I use Olaplex number seven oil on the ends for extra hydration. And this helps so much when I'm styling my hair. If I'm curling it and I keep the ends nice and hydrated with this oil, the curl will be perfect and it will stay like that until I wash my hair. If you try to curl your hair and it's not really curling, it's not staying. That is also a sign that if you have not recently done a protein treatment, that it's time to do that. So because I just did a protein treatment, I already know that it is in as good a condition as it's gonna get right now. So I add the extra hydration to the ends before styling. Any of my coarse, thick, frizzy hair people out there, leave the comments down there about how much product you have to use to saturate your hair. When you have hair similar to mine to get through all of these 
layers. I'm also going to add, this is not the right container, but this is the St. Tropica leave-in conditioning spray. This is the mermaid spray. If you want to do your hair curly, it's absolutely amazing. But they are all sold out of the leave-in conditioner. This is all I have left. So I have got that on pre-order as soon as it comes in. I am going to buy it again because I absolutely love, love, love their products. I'm also waiting for their hair serum to come in and the hair growth shampoo and conditioner. That is on its way. I will link that below. That is all in stock if you guys are interested. This is the same company that sells the hair growth vitamins. So all of their products are clean, toxic free. I totally trust them. I have been using their products for years. I'm going to be working on my hair while I talk to you and I'm putting gloves on because I just self tanned with this loving tan. This is the ultra dark. Um, I just ordered a different one that is, I don't like the smell. Like it gives you this weird smell. It's not horrible, but I just don't like it. So yeah, I'm putting gloves on so I don't wreck the tan. I initially tried the overtone. I will never touch overtone as long as I live. I really think that is what destroyed my hair um, the last time that I ruined my natural gray hair because it had a reaction with the heating tools. I will link all of the products that I have in my hair right now. I put a lot of products in my hair and we are on a healing journey with this hair. The overtone gives you like a metallic look and my hair got darker and I was just like, oh boy, what did I do? So I used a 20 volume developer and the baking soda, the shampoo, I already showed you guys how to do that um, in the initial video that I did. Um, it's on my channel. Um, to get all of the overtone out of my hair and thankfully it came out. Then I retoned it with the Wella T14 and 050, which is what I did initially. And it was so dark and patchy. Um, or after the overtone, it was so dark and patchy. I'll pop up a picture. I think I took a picture of it. So after the Wella, my hair was just not happy. So I did two or three rounds of um, clarifying shampoo and I let it soak in my hair and I like went like this with the clarifying shampoo. This is the clarifying Nexus. If I use these when my hair is toned too dark and I need to get it out, and let that soak in my hair. This is actually a clean version, so it's non-toxic. I'm not sure about this one. And then I soaked my hair in so many conditioners, like a ton of conditioners. All the things that I mix together and just let soak in my hair for like an hour. I use this conditioner, this hair mask, the hair glaze and some of the purple gloss and just mixed it all together, put a cap on my head and let it soak for like an hour. Um, when you have bleached or gray hair, you want to protect your hair. So by the way, you guys, you see this like crazy hair like this, this is always how my hair is. Like from when I was a kid, it's just, I'm Italian and Greek. This is the texture of my hair. Um, it's a little, little crazy. And the summer is coming, the humidity, the hot weather. So I will do a video on how I wear my hair natural. Um, 
and usually that is on the humid days because there's no fighting my hair when it's humid it gets even bigger than this so I'm kind of skipping around sorry um, okay so I used two clarifying shampoos I used ton 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 of conditioners I will let you know what I used some glosses some glaze and here we are but what happened during that uh, time is my natural gray that I was trying to let um, stay in the back got really light. I lost my natural gray. It looks like a brown color. It's like way worse than um, before. I don't know if you guys can see. It's got like a brownish lighter tint to it. Um, this was all my natural black and silver and now it's like this muddy it actually looks darker in, in the camera. I don't know why. Um, but I wish I had just bleached to the scalp from the beginning and I wouldn't have had to go through this and put my hair through this again. Um, I know I asked you guys in the beginning, oh, should I, um, should I bleach that? You know, when I first did this and some of you said yes, some of you said no. Ugh, I wish I had done it just from the beginning. Um, and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my hair rest for a little bit. And then I'm just gonna like touch up those dark spots in there and start from scratch. All right, so I have my heating tools on a super low setting. I'm gonna see if I can, um, I'm gonna see the lowest heat that I can keep it on and still be able to style my hair because, so this is on 240 right now. I just do the bangs too smooth. Just gonna smooth the top. Hold it for a sec. All right, that just gives like a nice um, smoothing to my hair right there. So I start on the bangs, and this is on the second light up. I can't see what that says. Hang on. I'll tell you what heat this is on also. So it's on the second setting, which is 310. Or no, that's the first setting, 310. This is as low as this thing goes. So let's see if we can get some curl on the lowest setting. Oh yeah, it feels good. Okay, so I go quick. Now for the trim, I do this basically every time I cut my hair. I mean, I do this basically every time I curl my hair. So now I look at the ends and I cut off any dead ends. So basically every time I curl my hair, I'm giving it a trim. I have a towel on my lap just so it doesn't make a mess. Now you see the difference here in this hair. Smooth, chic, shiny, and my hair with no style. Crazy. Okay, so then I just keep going in small sections. I start at the root, go back, and then I open it with my thumb, work my way down, pull, and let it drop. Take a look at the bottom, give it a trim, and I just do this all the way around my head.
I keep sniffling because there's so much pollen outside right now. But I'm not complaining. I love this weather. It's like 80 degrees today. Finally. Okay, one side done. Just let that cool and move on to the other side. I finished this whole side. I just have the front part to do. Oh my gosh, you guys, can you see that? It's gonna look like I have a giant hickey on my neck. It's bright red, I can't believe I did that. Oh, oh well. I'm so happy this is working on the lowest heat. I'm so glad I had it on the lowest heat when it hit my neck. <laughs> I have a bunch of hair cutting scissors and I just bought this new pair. You definitely have to keep, either get your scissors sharpened where I don't even know how or where to get that done, but um, they're not that expensive, so I just buy new ones when they are not like slicing perfectly through my hair. I've been trying out so many different toners like, um, Shampoos, conditioners, sprays, mousses, and I will let you guys know what my favorites are and which ones make my hair like the shiniest and feel the healthiest. Like that's the biggest thing for me is I want my hair to look shiny and healthy. For shampoo, I use Fanola. No yellow shampoo. Got this giant tub of it. I also love this one. I do not even understand how to pronounce it. Bold Unic. What does that say, you guys? Unic. 
I don't know. But it's shampoo and conditioner, and these are both toning. They also have a thick purple mask version of it that is wonderful for hydration and deeper toning. I also have the L'Oreal Lee Gloss. This is one step toning gloss and it is purple to help tone as well. Obviously don't use these all at once, just kind of mix and match. And this John Frieda Luminous Glaze, this is a clear gloss that I will mix with tons of conditioner and like one little bit of a purple toner. I just kind of mix it all together. This Amika Flash Instant Shine Mask you use after shampoo and conditioner in the shower. Put it through your hair. I use my wet brush to comb it in and rinse and your hair will be so shiny. These are two of my favorite shampoo and conditioners that I love the smell, I love how it makes my hair feel. There's no toning in either one of these. One is clean, one is not. That doesn't make sense to me, but I love them. Also, the Color Me Happy shampoo and conditioner. I ran out of the shampoo, but I love this. Herbal Essences because it smells so good. This is the St. Tropica True Bloom Hair Growth Shampoo and Conditioner that I was telling you guys about. It did come in and it has a very, very strong peppermint smell. It's almost like you can feel your hair follicles getting stimulated. So if you're not crazy about the peppermint smell, what I like to do is after I rinse it out, I put in a nice different smelling conditioner and you can't even smell the peppermint. I also started using their True Bloom Hair Girl Serum. This is clean, toxic free, and you just put a tiny dropper full on the areas of your hair that you want to start growing and fill in. And it also has a peppermint smell, but I like to do it at night and by morning, that smell is gone. Another clean version of shampoo and conditioner that is not a toner is the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. This smells delicious. It smells like coconut. It's just rich and thick, non-toxic. Absolutely love this. These are the leave-in conditioning products that I use that all have a toner in them. Shiny Silver Shine Spray. This is a Sun Bum Tone Enhancer. This is like just a spray conditioner. This is Bright Blonde. This is a toning serum. This one is more expensive, but it's totally worth it. It makes your hair nice and shiny. This is Fanola No Yellow. This is a conditioning mousse foam that comes out just like a foam and it's purple. And my all-time favorite from the last time that I went silver is the Rue Fancy Full Silver Lining. This is a liquid and you put this in when your hair is wet and it tones your hair. All of these wash out on your first wash. All right, here we go. Be very, very careful. Yes, we're good. Okay. If you make the curl too tight, just kind of like pull on it. My hair, you guys ask a lot about my hair, like, oh, it must be hereditary. Yes, I have always had coarse, thick, frizzy hair. However, my hair has definitely oops my hair has definitely gone through stages of not being healthy um i almost burned all my hair off with bleach many years ago um and my hair has gone through stages of being super dry and not growing and being unhealthy so i really have to take good care of my hair 
for it to start growing. It goes through stages of growing like crazy and then falling out, like falling out in clumps. It's kind of like a cycle, I guess. Let me know down in the comments if, if your hair goes through cycles of growing like crazy and then not growing and you're like, oh my gosh, if I lose any more hair, I'm not going to have any. It's very strange. I'm not sure why that happens. So again, I will link all of the products that I use currently in my hair. Okay, I'm going to give this more of a trim here because I want to see more layers, like a little more of bouncy layers. I like to wear black when I'm doing this or have, you know, my, my skin showing um, and be in super, super bright light because you can like turn your head a certain way and you can see any hairs that are begging you to trim them off. They'll kind of be sticking out, looking frizzy, cut them off. It's just, I'm not making huge cuts. It's not going to destroy your hair. It is going to actually save your hair and get rid of all of those split ends that are breaking off. So if you're saying, oh, my hair isn't growing, a big reason is because the ends keep breaking off. So it is growing from the root, but if your hair keeps breaking off from the ends, it's going to seem like your hair never grows. That's why I trim it so much. I only wash my hair once a week. I do this little trim once a week. Usually only style my hair once a week unless I have to do a very slight touch up. For shine, I'm gonna spray my hair with this shiny silver shine spray. Again, I will link it below. It has like a purple um, tint to it to tone. Oh, my hands are so greasy. Oh no. It's like slipping out of my hand. Hang on, I'm gonna hold it with a glove so it doesn't slip out of my hand. There we go. And I just rake my fingers through. And I have some Dove hairspray. No reason that I use this other than I love the smell. And then I spray on my fingers to get these little inner hairs. I'm gonna have to use a baby wipe to clean my hands because I don't wanna wreck the hand tan. Okay, and then I lift it and kind of scrunch to give some volume. Same thing in the back, get the underneath. Okay. And that is it, you guys. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right then. I should have showed you the back before, like how frizzy it was like a before and after, but I'm sure you remember how frizzy it was. I will link all of the products that I used down below in the description box and pinned to the top comment. I'm about to do my makeup and I'm going to film that video. So that will be the next one after this. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Bye.